Well, hey there, it's Jenny Wallach with the Wallach Group here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Keller Williams Realty. Uh, today, we are going to talk with our friend and partner, Penny Roth with the Choza Home Warranty. Penny, we have done business together in the past, and for a little stint in the past couple years, home warranties weren't so popular because buyers did not necessarily get to have them inside of a transaction, but the times are changing a little bit. So tell us who you are, what you do, and how people can benefit from having a home warranty on their property. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jenny, for having me today. It's very sweet of you. And like you said, we've known each other for years. And it's just been a weird two years with COVID, not being able to get in people's offices and see each other. And I'm a, I'm a hugger. And for me to be sitting at home and everything else. But, but the thing is, these sellers were not providing home warranties. They didn't have to. They didn't have to do repairs. They didn't have to do inspections. Um, they wanted that contract as clean as possible. So home warranties have been down, but they are back because sellers' con uh, concessions are back. And I'm noticing when I see the market change, and I've been doing this long enough, um, uh, that means I'm old, uh, doing this long enough that I, you know, I've seen, I've seen all the different kind, the seller's market, the buyer's market and everything else. But when it's a seller's market, um, you know, they don't, don't have to do what they need to do when it's a buyer's market and we're trending more to be a buyer's market, the seller um, will pay for closing costs, home warranty and, and repairs. So the home warranties are being written more when the sellers are paying for it. It's just, that's just the way it is. The sellers, um, it, it's beneficial for the sellers to have sellers coverage during the listing period because they have um, a little bit of complimentary sellers coverage at no cost to them. They don't pay for it for a full program, um, a, a warranty up front. What they do is um, they pay for a trade call fee and they have complimentary seller's coverage. They don't get the full buffet like the buyers do. And they have seller's coverage uh, from the listing to the closing date. And then the buyers will still get a full year uh, from the closing date. So it doesn't take any um, months or days off the buyer's uh, policy. And it's very important because when a seller is selling their house, if something goes wrong, they don't, you know, it, it helps them out of pocket expenses because they don't want to put money into something they're trying to sell. Right. But what I like about it most is when you have a, a seller, we're coming up on the um, air condition, you know, spring months and everything, go ahead and put that seller's policy on. Then that first hot weekend when they're moving in, they have all the doors open and, you know, everything else. And maybe the air conditioning is not, <laughs> not up to date. And of course, you know, people are going to crank that thing down to make sure it works. <laughs> like we do when we go to hotel rooms, you know, we like to get that air conditioner down. But seriously, um, they, they can um, have that policy on there. And when that buyer moves in and a couple of weeks later is making an air conditioner claim, we have coverage showing that, okay, they didn't make an air conditioner claim. So that helps the buyers showing that it was in proper working order and they it just had a failure and that things kind of things happen. But I like to have seller's coverage on for that. And we are, like I said, when I open up and I can see where everybody's putting on seller's coverage, I know that the market has shifted <laughs> and it's, it, yay. <laughs> well, it, it. <laughs> yeah, and I, we're with you. We're always watching the days on market and um, the list price to sales price. And we're starting to see a little bit of a change too. It's not dramatic. It's just some, you know, a little bit of sliding over to, now, I love the win-win of a home warranty because what starts happening just 
as the days on market creeps up a little bit, that just tells us that maybe the buyers are going to have a little bit more power in negotiating, but it doesn't mean that the sellers are going to, you know, lose their shorts in some kind of negotiation, but a home warranty, exactly what you're saying, when a seller is listing their home, I think it's a total win-win to put the warranty on the property at the time of listing, because now you're appealing to more buyers because you're saying, hey, you don't even have to negotiate this. We already agree to pay for this warranty for you, which can be five, six, seven hundred dollars of a of a fee. So that's a win win for the seller and the buyer in that situation. Right. And I always, and especially new agents, I always tell them that if you're um, shopping for a car and a car lot, and one comes with a warranty, same make, same model and one doesn't, which one looks more appealing to you? Well, that's the same way the consumer has in a neighborhood where there's two houses built about the same time, same square footage. One comes with the warranty and one doesn't. And so that gives the consumer the peace of mind that they're not gonna have big out-of-pocket expense that first year, or do they have to do a bunch of negotiating for yeah. that? So Penny, you are with a company that um, offers a little bit of a twist on how you do, get your service calls done. So yes. share a little bit about your company specifically uh, for our viewers. So um, I, I've been selling, and I'm a full, when I say I'm a believer in home warranties, you know, you know I am. I've been doing this a long time, and um, when the when it was time for someone to have an air conditioner claim, a heating claim, and it was taking two, three, four weeks, and we're going, oh, well, at least it didn't take a month and a half like the other customers, you know, it was time for something to change in the home warranty industry. And the biggest complaint that ever existed every client every complaint they did not like the vendor that the home warranty company chose for them to come out that they worked for the home warranty company not the homeowner so um harry kiefer um started this company about five years ago and he was like okay well you know what you pick your vendor we're going to let you pay um i mean we're going to pay for that part to come off the truck. We're not trying to um, order a part and save $50 and make you go two weeks without an air conditioner. And um, when, when you don't have air, you eat out, you get hotels, you get a portable air conditioner, you have all this out-of-pocket expense. And then, oh yeah, and you still owe $3,000, okay? And so, you're sitting there thinking, okay, well, it's going to be worth it because, you know, we're saving this money. We're saving this money. But, um, but so something had to change when people get to pick their vendor. Yeah. Person they know, someone that you've recommended. Um, they are happy. They are, the technician is working for them. The, the, like I said, they, and the technician gets paid at the time of service by credit card before they leave our portion. Okay. So the homeowners are getting quality vendors, people that they like, people that are respecting their house. And, and I can't, I've got horror stories, but I'm not going to tell you this. Um, so everyone is happy. They have immediate satisfaction. The technician will call me afterwards and go, I've got three business cards right up here where they're like, okay, I want to be your um, preferred home, uh, excuse yeah. me, preferred HVAC person. So they know that th this is a different experience. Yeah. And we, like I said, we're just giving someone else the options to choose if they've had an experience with a, a traditional home warranty company, they will know the value of being able to pick your home warrant or your vendors your service provider yeah there's yes. so much value in having some control over that but still having the help of uh you know great professionals like you to kind of assist them through the process as right well. now and let's let's say that they moved in and moved in from Tulsa and didn't 
you know, and they maybe live in Nowata, or, you know, maybe your technician doesn't go to Nowata. We have a database that people that have worked with us before, and we can recommend, but we always give them three names and they will pick from that um, because we, that's our motto. You have the power to choose. We're never going to tell you which technician to use. I love it. Well, Penny, um, we may be hanging out more here in this new market and we're excited for that. So tell everybody how they can find you, whether they're a consumer or a buyer or seller or a realtor in town. How can people best find you? Yes. Well, I'm really easy. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Facebook, social media, but my phone number is 918-771- 8129-918-771-8129. Or you can email me at Penny, P-E-N-N-Y, initial R, at Achosa, A-C-H-O-S-A, H-W, dot com. And um, uh, I just appreciate you having me. It's been one. It's good to see you. I've I've been to the office a couple of times, and I know you're always out on appointments, or I can tell that you're doing lead generations and everything. And I just wave at you through that little window back there. <laughs> well, we're grateful for you, Penny, and appreciate you sharing all your knowledge. And I know people will reach out if they need anything. So we'll see you real soon. All right. Thank you so much.